I'll just do a quick recap on that simple stripe that we did today. I've already prepared a stripe, so what you can see is I've used my um, rectangle tool, I've created a stripe, but the thing that we need to remember when we've created a stripe is to go into, we'll just have a look at outline view, we need to make absolutely sure that both sides of the stripe, I'll just deselect, are completely running next to each other. Nothing is running off like that, as you can see. Because if I put that into the swatches panel, we'd end up with a bit of a gap in these stripe repeats. So I select everything, and I'll just align to the left, go back to View and Preview. To create the swatch, all I need to do is pick up whatever it is I've selected, it, drag it into the swatches panel, so you'll see there'll be an addition sign, and drop it in there. Command minus to zoom out, and now we can fill the garment. Because my garment is not grouped, I can just select the stripe and fill it. If it was grouped, I would have had to use my group selection. As you can see, the back is grouped, so I'll just Command Z. And now I come to Group Selection, click onto the back, and fill it. Holding Shift, I can pick the front. Actually, what I'll do is make a copy of that, so you can see that difference again, to do the transform. group selection, click, shift, and what I'm going to do now is transform, scale, and I don't want to scale the whole garment down, I want to only scale the pattern. So I've unselected object and I've only selected pattern, and I go OK. And then finally, the last thing that we spoke about with the stripe was to change colors on the garment and the stripe at the same time. So just in case you've forgotten where I found my Pantone colors, I've actually got rid of them again. So let's open those up. Open Swatch Library, Other Library, sorry, Color Books, Pantones, pastels and neons, uncoated or coated, I don't mind. And here we are. So I need to choose two new colors. So what I'm going to do is just make some little blocks next to that. And I need a new color for the purple. I'm going to choose pink. And a new color for the blue. And I'm going to choose a deeper pink. Maybe what I'll do is go that pink. Yep, I'm happy with that. So I select both of those. And either I can come into the color wheel in the option bar, or I can go to edit, edit colors, recolor artwork. And all I'm doing here is I'm swapping my colors around. So I've said my lilac is going to be the light pink. And my turquoise is going to be the dark pink. And there you have the new colorway. We go OK. And immediately in your swatches panel, you'll get a swatch of the new colorway. And that's basically everything that covers the stripe. We need to make sure that there's a color in anything that's white and that the edges are lined up and there are no gaps. And that's as simple as it is to create a stripe repeat.